Hey Jens, welcome back to my channel. It's Jade here and today is Monday. It's time for a little bit of med school motivation. Okay, so this Monday I'll be bringing y'all 10 things I wish I did differently my first year of medical school. Stay tuned. So number 10 is I wish that I didn't buy an iPad Pro. Now, I am a paperless student and I'm all about being a paperless student, but you can still achieve this without an iPad Pro. Number nine, I personally wish that I had started studying by yield versus class chronology from day one, because as I'm sure you've heard the analogy, medical school, the amount of information or the volume of information is like drinking from a fire hose and it's true. So going chronologically, you might not hit everything that's what we consider high yield versus if you start with those high yield topics. Do you hear those birds? Like that's annoying. So if you start with the yield of the material, you're gonna get through more things that are most likely to be tested. Also, don't think that you can just coast a little bit like how you do an undergrad, like the semester begins, you're not really paying attention. You're not really worried about studying just yet. Nah, day one, hit the ground running. You wanna have a study plan. You can't wait until the first quiz to like fill out the professor, fill out the class, um, or fill out what you need to know. If you do that, you'll be behind and you don't want to put yourself behind. Number eight, I wish I had kept up with Zonky for every unit from day one. It will become apparent as to why later on this list. It will also become apparent if you don't do it, your second semester of medical school. So number seven, I'm having a really hard time with this. <laughs> I wish I had started using Anki in undergrad. I wouldn't have just got the grades that I needed to get. I would have also retained the knowledge that I need to retain. I have a solid foundation, specifically for like biochemistry and any of the metabolism things. I remember learning those things in undergrad. I mean, learning. <laughs> I never really like committed to those. I was just kind of like cram them when I needed them. And now that I'm in medical school, I do the exact same thing. Can you imagine had I, at the time, had Anki, I would know it now. Number six, I personally wish that I had stuck to my pretty reasonable study schedule um, because you can have a life outside of medical school. It just becomes harder if you don't schedule your time properly, if you don't prioritize things. And I am what you call a procrastinator. I work the best under pressure, right? So I would put things out to the last minute. I didn't need to, don't do it. You know what? We will do that before you go back to school. We will sit down together and create a schedule so that we can all be successful, okay? Number five, <laughs> down to single hands now. I wish I had stopped going to lecture sooner because it's a waste of time. No shade, but like go to lecture if you want to try it. Stop going if you leave with no new knowledge. Number four, I wish I had known how lonely medical school could be especially if you don't attend lectures like myself i personally think of myself as a loner i have a handful of great friends i can always reach out to i can always depend on i can always have a good time with but i'm not just like let's get out there let's make friends let's mingle mingle like i'm really an introvert given that i moved nine hours away from my family which is really <laughs> the center of my social life. I wish I had known how hard it would be <laughs> to be in a new city by myself. And had I known that, I probably would have gotten to know my classmates a little better. Not to say that I don't have friends in school. At least one of them will be a bridesmaid. She invited herself though. <laughs> I love you, Haya. <laughs> Haya. I just, I wish I would known how lonely it would be. I definitely would have worked harder in the beginning to like main, I'm not like a maintenance of friendships type of person. That's why I have like my lifelong friends that I already have that don't need me to go out of my way for them at this point. And they understand where I am in my life and they don't expect that from me. 
So I, I kind of feel like new relationships need that. And luckily I have like great friends as I was saying before. One of my best friends will call me at least once or twice a month. If I don't answer, it's not like she's put off by it. She'll just call me back another day until I pick up the phone. We'll have a nice little conversation. She wants to check on me and see how I am, you know? Like, if you've got friends like that, they're keepers. Number three, I wish I had known before starting my first semester of medical school, how exactly important step one was because I mean, yeah, we all go into medical school, I would think prioritizing the longevity of knowledge. But as everyone says, there's such a volume of knowledge that you're expected to retain or at least filter that it's kind of hard to just keep up with that when it's constantly, constantly, constantly something new coming towards you. So it's kind of hard to prioritize review. However, had I known exactly how important the exam was, like basically defines your life. It defines what kind of doctor you can be. The field I want to go into is considered like a primary care type of field. There's always a need. You could say that your USMLE step score standards are a little bit lower. However, this cycle, correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of people applied psych because it is perceived to be a more lax field as well as a field with a great work-life balance. A lot of people applied, a lot of people didn't get in. So that gives you like a little bit of anxiety. That on top of the fact that I can say for sure, I'm not a genius. I have had to work for everything I have in life, had to work to get to where I am in life. Do I believe I'm starting the average? Sure. But again, I have to work to maintain that knowledge for an exam that I'll be taking next year. Right? Like I'm not a genius. I don't want to spend a month or two trying to go over two years of material, right? It'd be better to just keep up with what you've already been over. So that is my advice to you. And that is what I wish I had known. I wish I had known exactly how important the exam was because had I known, I would tailor my studies around first and foremost, learning what needs to be learned in the now, but also carrying those high yield concepts with me in the form of Zonky. And then secondly, knowing about it beforehand versus grasping the concept second semester probably would have saved your girl from almost failing. Would have saved your girl from having to retake cardio palm and renal because during these units is when I was realizing, hey, step's really important. You should probably kind of try to find some time to review last semester's things and actually keep those zonky in rotation because so what i was doing was i would get through the zonky cards and then i would just suspend them after i was done what i should have been doing was keeping up with them right so second semester i go into it trying to keep up with those cards trying to learn all the new information you see how this could be like a recipe for disaster so yeah had i known in the beginning exactly how important step was your girl would have kept up with those zonky cards from day one wouldn't have been trying to backtrack semester two wouldn't have failed cardiopulmonary failed renal had to retake those okay would have had a two week longer summer but hey we got them we dealt with it we good we can be a two okay we still want for the doctor number two i wish i hadn't depended so much on my anki group because in unit one and the first half of unit two i did just fine by myself and then i got accustomed to like depending on that group so i got a little lax in my studies and then the second unit second semester so cardio pulmonary the one i failed <laughs> the band disbanded so i just feel had it not been as dependent if i was a little more independent then i definitely would have been more equipped to handle the increasing challenges of those units and we are finally to number one i wish while i had the chance i had taken advantage of having the Anki group and really invested time in other areas of my life um, namely my relationship i'm in a long relationship my boyfriend lives nine hours away from me and this is very hard for me that's like the hardest part of medical school honestly and then secondly like my own self-care you know sitting down planning filming editing videos for you guys all right james we're at the end of my list so my wishing 
ain't gonna change the past but it can help someone else out there and i hope that it does as always thank y'all for tuning in go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see y'all next week bye